wiener dogs, cats, jumping on them. Look, babies getting on top. Renny allows them to do whatever they want with him. Pulling on his ear or licking his face and totally getting into his space. He babysits and takes care of everybody in our house. And everyone's kind of like, whoa, he's huge and scary looking. I think he's never met anybody that he doesn't like. We found Rennie in a shelter and he was a confiscation of a puppy mill. He was three months old and he'd never really been out of a cage. My husband saw him and he was like, oh babe, I love him so much. And we brought him home. So he was super skinny, really unable to do a lot of walking. He'd had some hind leg problems. We did a lot of work with him. We took him on walks, had to carry him a lot. And he got stronger and bigger. So when we brought Brenny home, we were kind of thinking, how's this going to work out? We had a wiener dog, Pearl. She hadn't really been around anything that big. She was a little bit t intimidated, but Rennie just absolutely fell in love with her. He just took his time, took Pearl under his wing, and it broke the ice quite quickly. We were all shocked. We almost feel like Pearl accepted him. He would put his big giant head on her and kind of pick a sniff, and she loves to snuggle up to him. And anytime we come into a room, they're typically laying next to each other. And he is like the guy that takes care of everybody. So when Pearl kind of adopted our kitten, Wally, we would find Rennie snuggling up right with those two. We started joking around that Wally was Pearl's and Rennie's love child. This is the weirdest, oddest triplet of family that you could ever expect. And honestly, I just don't think he would have it any other way. Rennie is super special because he's got this giant, giant body and truly being a gentle giant. He's a heater for all of our wiener dogs and Wally and Pearl. He makes sure that you have a feeling of love when you're around him. It's time to watch more.